Got another question on the electropotentials topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay so the definition for standard electropotential it's the EMF or the voltage of a half cell measured against the standard hydrogen electrode and the standard conditions are 298 Kelvin, 100 kilopascals and one mole per decimeter cubed of solutions. So part B, the diagram's a little bit of a twist here. They've not really, they don't really ask for the electron um, to be drawn in or the ions. So I'll just make sure I explain that very carefully. So in terms of the cell, we've got the V3 plus 2 plus half cell. I've put it on the left. You can put them in either uh, order if you want. So I've got the one mole per decimeter cubed solutions of each of those in the beaker. Platinum electrode external wire through the voltmeter to the copper electrode um, and that's obviously dipping into one mole per decimeter cubed solution of copper two plus ions so i've just written up the electropotentials of the half cells so you can see that the um, copper copper two plus one is the most positive one which makes it the positive electrode so therefore the v3 plus two plus is the negative electrode the electrons obviously flow around this external circuit and the electrons flow from the negative electrode to the positive one. So the electrons are going in that direction there. The other charge carriers involved are the ions that are in the salt bridge. Now typically that's um, a saturated solution of potassium nitrate. So you could put K plus ions and nitrate ions there but just writing ions was absolutely fine. And the cell potential is the most positive electrode potential minus the least, so that's 0 0.60 volts. So moving on to part C now, we've got to define the terms oxidizing and reducing agents. So electron acceptor for an oxidizing agent, electron donor for a reducing agent. The question focuses on chromium 3 plus acting as each of these. So in system two, you can see that the chromium three plus ion is accepting electrons. So that's um, the system we're going to use to illustrate it being an oxidizing agent. System five is where the chromium three plus ions are donating electrons. So we'll use that one to explain the reducing agent. So we'll start with oxidizing agents. So system two, you can see the electropotential is minus 0 0.41 volts. We want the chromium three plus uh, system to move in the forwards direction. So we need to pair this up um, with a system that's not as positive as this one. Remember we, the positive one is the one that moves left to right. So we've got to pair it up with this one here, the aluminium three plus aluminium one. It's the only one that's less positive than minus 0 0.41 volts. So the equation that's going to accompany that one, we're going to multiply this one by three. So you'd have three Cl3 plus plus Al gives three Cl2 plus plus Al3 plus. So I've just written something like this. Chromium three plus acts as an oxidizing agent with Al3 plus Al as it has a more positive electrode potential. Chromium three plus will accept electrons from the aluminium and oxidize it to Al3 plus. And there's that equation I mentioned a minute ago. So moving on to it being a reducing agent, remember that's system five. So we want this half equation to go backwards. So we need to pair it up with something that's more positive than this one. Because if this was the more positive one, it's gonna run in the wrong direction. So again, there's only one option, it's this one here. So in terms of the equation, we are going to need to double this one to get the electrons up to six, add them together, and there's a bit of cancelling out because we've got H plus ions left and right, and we've got H2O left and right as well. So really similar wording to before, so I'm saying chromium 3 plus acts as a reducing agent with this system here because it's got a less positive electrode potential. So chromium 3 plus ions will donate electrons to the FeO42 minus slash H plus and reduce the iron to Fe3 plus. And there's that overall equation with the cancelling having been done. 